Vanessa, great speaking with you. You and I have talked several times, always over the phone. Actually, the last time we talked was when your Christmas album oh was God. released. Oh, wow. That's been some time. And I play it every year. So I'm looking forward to seeing you on TV, especially with this new show. The second I saw it, I got excited about this. This sounds like it's going to be like housewives versus this. It's going to be crazy. It, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of comedy. Uh, it's got a lot of energy and a lot of secrets that will be revealed uh, on a weekly basis. We just uh, debuted this past week and people loved it and they can't wait to see what's going to happen in the next episode. And I play Maxine Robinson, who is the producer of a daytime chat show called uh, The Lunch Hour. Uh, and it's based on Star Jones's book called Satan's Sisters. And uh, it's been it's been wonderful to kind of create a new, you know, a new show and to get new excitement uh, on something that's really never been done on television. Because this is based on a book, how much truth do we get to see? I know this is supposed to be fiction, but at the same time. Well, you would have to ask, ask Star about that, but uh, all I know is that it's a fictitious uh, novel uh, based on a, a show called The Lunch Hour. But, uh, you know, knowing Star and knowing her years of working uh, in front of the camera, uh, every story that is in the book is either something that she's lived through with her other co-stars uh, or a... Um, a case that she actually prosecuted or an interview that she gave or listened to. So there's a little bit of truth in everything that's on the screen. And, uh, wait, one, one last question though. How does it feel though coming back? I mean, you've done it all. Movies, music, dance. You've done it all. How does it feel coming back to television? Because it's almost like there's nothing else you need to conquer. <laughs> oh, there's always stuff to conquer, but uh, I love it. You know, I it, it allows me to still do you know, I was doing shooting Monday through Friday, and then on the weekend I would have gigs uh, and, and be able to sing my music. So I've been able to keep the ball rolling and always kind of never get bored with my career, and that's what I absolutely love. Thank you so much for doing this interview. Thank you. Okay.